Welcome back to Goshen's Games, guys. I am Goshen, and uh, today we are joined again by Scythe. And today's topic, we are going to discuss the current state of global because uh, they're freaking doing some weird stuff with it. Um, especially with the release of Omega and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So, everybody, welcome Scythe to the channel. Hi, guys. My name is Scythe. Thank you for having me again on the channel. Um, Goshen, thank you for having me on the channel as well. It's been a week, guys, and right... It's been a very crazy week, guys, and... Yeah, what's up? How are you guys doing? Are your stones fine? What's up? So... These guys don't know, but we just recorded this video halfway through already, and then it didn't record my mic, so yeah, fun times. Um, with that being said, uh, this is also kind of like a part two to our video we did last week, where we discussed Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and Omega. Uh, you know, we're, we're now going to discuss the way that that Global is, as far as like how the game goes and what's what might happen pretty soon. Um, also, we're doing a part two to this video. It's going to be down in the description below, and I'm also going to link it at the end of the video. Um, that will be a discussion on Scythe's channel, where we will discuss uh, JP versus Global, because there's some differences there that we need to discuss as well. Um, so, go ahead, dude. Lead it off, man. All right, guys. Well, let's talk about some, you know, some, something about the current state of global. At the moment, guys, they haven't released any of the leader skills still, and yet it's been about a week. I would say, is it? Would it be about a week? Um, it it has. Well, I mean, okay, it's been a hundred plus hours. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's but regardless, I mean, since as, as long as we've known about the card, they've said to be released, and we're like, okay, well, what's gonna happen? Are they like withholding the leader skill out on us? You know. <laughs> yeah exactly like guys right now this basically makes global look very bad in many kinds of ways like it's basically saying you know global doesn't matter they can wait they can we can take our time on global and just let them waste their stones on a character that doesn't even have a leader skill so we can't even fully utilize the this guy's um this guy this character we know what their leader skill because it's actually been announced in jp already and you know we don't get the same treatment so what's 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 wrong i mean don't get me wrong we are getting a lot of stuff we're getting we've got we've gotten so many banners so many stones so many tickets which don't get me wrong i'm blessed i'm happy but bringing out a kind of a this is kind of a shaft like bringing out a thing a character with no leader skill and just giving it to us like how how do you do that yeah and you know, I can see how they're kind of balancing out the the game in global because, you know, this is the first time that that we get the same cards as JP at the same time, and uh, and, and you know they made that mistake where we got LR Broly way ahead of time and it broke global. So I think they're trying to make up for that fact that they don't want to do that again because I mean having a leader skill of 150 percent is insane. Um, Especially since we're not there yet, you know? Yeah, right now, guys, don't get me wrong. I would love the 150% leader skill, but we don't have as many, um, let's say, not not in the sense of events, but let's say, for example, um, boss rush or... Um, we don't have boss we don't have most of the stages of boss rush, which we can actually fully, fully utilize a team like that. It's like you know <clears throat> how do i say this um uh i had a brain fart there sorry um goshen give it a second i got you I'll, I'll, I'll jump in really quick um i mean we have we have a lot of things coming up in global really soon uh and the way that they pushed out the data I, you know those of you who actually go and look at uh web sites like dbz space um where they actually do the data mining of the game you'll see that in the date of the game, we have cards like Super Saiyan 3, Angel, Goku, the, the tech one. Actually, I think all of them are actually in the data. The free-to-play one, the physical, the tech, the, um, the, you know, the 120 lead. We have Mass Saiyan in the, in the game data. We have all the, all the Dokkan Awakenings of, of the Bardox. Uh, we have Cooler. You know, uh, there, there's so much in the data, Goku Jr., that we don't have yet. Like, it's not released officially yet, but it's there in the game. And... You know, like going forward from there, 
why are they pushing so much into the game already? Because they've already released little things. Like, for example, the, the stacking mechanic. Uh, that's a Super 17 thing, but they pushed it now. So, why are they doing yeah. things like this? Yeah, you make, a po you make a point there because... Guys, there's basically three one twenty percent leads already in the in the data mine. Basically, you know, Super Saiyan um, Angel Goku, which is Super Saiyan three Angel Goku, uh, Super Seventeen. Um, well, Super Seventeen, cooler. Super Seventeen is not in the data, but we got the patch update. That's what I'm saying. It's, oh, it's really yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. They're 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 we got the patch update. It's like they're sh they're showing these characters. They're like basically they're they're moving everything forward. So like they're trying to, I I'm pretty certain they're trying to make us catch up for something. They want to probably bring up some exclusive stuff to JP, but they want to throw this at us at the moment. And you know it's been a month now. It no, I'm not a month. It's gonna be after this month. We're gonna have. I'm pretty certain we're gonna have cooler, and we might have. You know we might have a um a mix of banners coming because you know uh they kind of push back they push back cooler for an extra month so you know this might make it possible for them to actually bring out two banners at once yeah and if if they do something like that in all honesty because um because i know that you just recently started playing jp but at the same time I, i'm i'm pretty sure that you're familiar with the way that they did things and and the way that they released the banners you know, they did it back to back. There was like two to three weeks in between of each banner and it really hurt. Like, you know, as a consumer, it really hurt because then you like you want to pull for these good units. But at the same time, it's like, damn, where's my break? You know? Yeah. It, yeah, guys, like it's 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 like they basically threw them out at JP. Like I'll be, um, I was watching them as every time they threw it out. And from my perspective, it's like back to back, back to back. So they're basically trying to reel these new events out and see how they go, who pulls for them. And I'm not going to lie. Maybe for a certain reason, maybe profit is also behind this because you could have probably waited a month for every um every character, but they're trying to push it fast. And then when it comes around to global, I mean, when you look at it, we already had Super Saiyan fours, which if you if you realize this, Super Saiyan fours and Gogeta, Gogeta came out of nowhere. It just came out of nowhere, and if you notice, we basically a global themselves. They wasted all their stones. Like most people, pretty sure, wasted a lot of stones on the Super Saiyan fours. And then when Gogeta came out, it just everybody wasted all their profit on that. So they're probably looking at it like okay global we can probably just throw something out every month right away now again and we'll have a certain profit margin right and and i think they're playing it a little bit smarter because they didn't i mean yes they made some money on banners like 17 and and kid boo but at the same time nobody like nobody really pulled on them right they, they weren't as profitable as super saiyan 3 angel goku they are as intelligence gogeta you know it, it's it was very weird when those banners came out because i mean if you play or you know as you keep playing jp yourself you'll see you won't be able to find those friends like you won't be able to find a kid boo or a super 17 it's really weird over there um but anyways that that's a jp discussion for the next video um but over here like if they release the banners two at a time again it's not going to be so profitable because then you're going to have cooler and super saiyan 3 tech angel goku going head to head on a dual dokkan festival as much as i really want cooler at that point i'm actually going to pull for goku yeah what 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 i've been seeing recently is that they're bringing a lot of like they're making it they're making it like you know a hero and a villain type kind of banner not not in the sense of like hero or villains like type of leader skills but like as a super type character and then a, a hero a villain character they bring out two different characters and then put them together and then mash them up like like what i'm thinking right now like it just popped up in my head like uh cooler and what's his name cooler and um super saiyan 3 angel goku already here right right and we the, have we have the, them in the date of the game exactly so i mean for them to make i mean this might be a obviously obviously a very um bad profit but like for a possibility if after this month it wouldn't be a such a non-unthinkable idea 
that they might actually bring out cooler and a Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku as dual type banners. Yes. Which would, I mean, in my opinion, it wouldn't be bad, but I mean. Right. And, and, and that actually, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you brought actually the, the next point that I was going to bring up, which uh, the fact that if they were going to change the banners, which they should at this point, if they want to catch us up, put two 120 leads on one banner. Make it a dual festival, but on one banner. Mm, you're actually right on that because that right there and the future banners, let's say, for example, banners that weren't pulled a lot. Um, let's say Super 17. They rushed up the mechanic of um, that was going to be like, um, you know, announced on when Super Saiyan 17, when, when, Super, when Super 17 comes out, they were going to show the stacking mechanic, which they right. brought early and they're probably looking at it and like you know we can move this up a little bit it's not such a very bad idea right and they're probably looking at super 17 too they probably look at his sales let's say for jp for example say that for now and now let's say global they look at global and they'd be like okay we tested it out on the on our side now we can fully utilize it on global and we can we can probably speed it up for global throw it at, or like you said um do a dual type banner where it has two 120 percent leads as in they could probably bring out maybe a super 17 or you know if they wanted to mess around and prolong it a little bit longer uh bring out um cooler bring cooler and super 17 um on the same banner which it, people would pull on it people they would, they would have a reason to pull right two 120 leads that's not such a bad idea yeah no and, and here's here's the other thing too the way that that global is with having omega and super saiyan 4 gogeta if they put out a banner uh, like if they mash up the cooler and the super saiyan 3 angel goku banner together so then on that banner you can then pull you have a chance to pull cooler uh sin shenron um angel goku mass saiyan super saiyan 3 gotenks so they mash them all up that is the bad you know how many people would spend stones on that banner right that banner right there would solidify itself as one of the one of the best banners because already you have two 120s you have another character mass saiyan that right there would it it would speed up the process by a lot like it would be it would speed up the process a lot don't get me wrong like that would be a good that'd be a good um speed up pro that'd be a good speed time that way the next banners that pop out they're gonna probably do the same thing and right there uh, of course they could bring out sales because that they would all they're always gonna bring out a sale when, new, right. when some new banner comes out which would make you lead on and basically everyone would be like oh we got new sales we can buy more stones and you know it, it basically you look at it it would be like a Super Saiyan 4 kind of thing because the, the only reason why people are pulling on Super Saiyan 4 is because it's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. It's an it's a it's a card that everyone wants it. For example, you bring out Omega Shenron. If he came out by himself with no Gogeta, nobody it would be like a low percentage of people that would probably pull for Omega. I would only those who <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, just, I myself, I'm just putting that out. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I get you, I get you, I get you. I mean, don't get me wrong. You could probably make a, like a, you know, it's, a, I mean, it would be the first one 50% lead. So that would be good. But for those people who just wasted so many stones on Super Saiyan 4 um, Goku, they would probably back down from the banner and just wait a little bit longer until it comes yeah. out later on. Yeah. And, and for, for and example, the, like cooler. Yeah. And the reason why I said like the best thing that they could possibly do right now going forward from this moment on the reason why i said it mashed the two banners together is because i'm telling you right now super saiyan 3 angel goku's team and cooler's team are going to be the top two teams in global because of the fact that you have omega and super saiyan 4 gogeta who can be on those on those heroes and villains teams the physical team is going to be insane we already know that oh most definitely like the the the, the 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 physical team is already like everybody already has a certain team for them right so, and then and then with um with the way that the tech team is going to work like gogeta's mechanic his countering mechanic is insane it's 50 percent chance to counter a super attack 
I mean, and then you yeah. have him on a 120 lead, and he's going to be perfect linking buddies with Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Come on. That right there shows a very OP team. Like, the three characters that would be on those teams that probably, like, break it would be, obviously, the 120 um, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, God Tanks, and um, Gogeta himself, the Super Saiyan 4. Yeah. And that, like, these, the physical and the tech team right now is already set. Like, those two teams are probably going to hit really hard until something else happens. Who, who by, by God, who knows what. But those two... Those two kids, those two teams are probably gonna be really good. So that wouldn't be a very bad idea, actually putting them in on one banner so that that would that would probably make it as you like it would probably bring the same effect. Like we could have pulled Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta on these banners. And then it'd bring up the same effect the next banner. It would be like, oh, we could have just pulled cool um Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on these banners. Yeah. And, and who knows maybe they might even like because again we just got the super saiyan 4 uh, banners and then super saiyan 4 goku is on omega's banner so for all we know on these banners they might put omega on cooler's banner if they're going to do a separate they might put omega on cooler's banner and freaking gogeta on goku's banner for all we know oh yeah if they were to do it like either way they would win because yeah right it would, it would oh yeah because it basically make it would you have to pull on both of them you have to you to make yeah. and to make those teams good you have i mean you have the sales you have the percentage i'm pretty sure that if they do do that they're obviously going to make um three for one type of discount type of deal so you know you have your cooler team you already have the the the, the cooler team would already be there you got to summon on cooler and you have to summon on angel goku it would give you a reason to summon on both of them because one has Gogeta and the other one has um, Shenron, which basically make their team really good. Yeah, for real. Well, anyways, we're going to end this on that note right here. Um, guys, thank you very much for watching the video today. And uh, make sure you check out Scythe's channel. And down below in the description, like I said, will be a link to part two. And do you have anything you want to say before we go to the next video? um guys get ready for the lr campaign though so just let you guys know up just a quick heads up guys and thank you for having me on the channel everybody thank you goshen and you guys have a wonderful day all right peace out see you in part two guys